Time and time again on this channel, we've had this discussion about being prepared, about taking the bulls by the horn and getting out there and doing what you have to do for you and your family. Time and time again, we have had lots of comments and people have stated, well, you know what, I can't do it. I don't want to do it. You know, they come up with all these different types of excuses. Time and time again in history, the people that weren't prepared are the people that suffered the most. Why is it? They don't want to do it. They they feel that, you know, it's it's not going to happen. Nothing's going on. Um, the world's fine. The economic crisis is fine. There's no inflation. Um, food isn't costing you more to store. Um, all the writings are on the wall time and time again. So why is it that people just choose not to try to prepare just a little bit for them and their families? You know what? Let's show you. Follow me. Let's go this way. So time and time again, we have always been talking about what you need to be doing about being prepared. With all the given stuff that is going on in this world, as we are speaking right now, folks, we need to be getting ready because there is something coming down the pike. I can't sit here and pinpoint it. I can't predict the future. All I know is <laughs> there's a lot of crazy people out there that are willing to do whatever they have to to succeed in whatever it is that they want to accomplish and they don't care about me and you and that's why i keep preaching this you know i mean you you see all the different canned goods and food and freeze-dried food and stuff behind me and everything else it's not something that i went out and bought all at one time this takes time to do this is years of prepping and getting things ready and this is only a portion of what i do have i ran out of room in everywhere else that i was storing food and so i put these shelves in so i had someplace else to store food here's the thing folks okay it doesn't take much a few months ago i did a ten dollar a week challenge for four weeks for forty dollars and i showed you how much food that you can get and start putting away it doesn't take a lot. You got to start watching sales, buy one, get ones and all this kind of stuff. You know, uh, baked beans. I mean, baked beans are great. Pick up baked beans. I mean, start somewhere. Your vegetables, you know, you got green beans. Pick up green beans, corn, carrots, whatever you want. Potatoes, canned potatoes. You can start wherever you want. Start with putting away rice start putting away dry goods this is something that we all need to be doing and we need to be doing it now the problem is is so many people out there they think everything's going to be just fine nothing's going to happen you know all this hype and all this talk that we hear on the news and everything else you know oh well you know it's all going to wash over nothing ever happens in america it's coming folks we have to be prepared. I don't know how many times I have to say this. The time is running out. And either you have a choice in trying to be prepared or not. Let's just talk about something that's across the board. Okay? We're not going to talk about any wars, anything like that. Let's talk about all this crazy weather that El Nino is really producing right now. The jet stream is so screwed up that you know nobody knows what the heck it's gonna do the atlantic ocean is so freaking warm right now it is unbelievable we should have really no hurricanes this year and they're already starting to brew <laughs> i mean the devastation and the fires in canada that have brought down all that smoke and everything else what happens if all this smoke keeps coming down here and let's say blocks out the sun for days on end. That hurts the growing season on the farmers, in your backyard, your own garden. So if we have a contingency plan that we can be prepared with putting away canned goods and stuff, yeah, everybody would like to have fresh vegetables, but you gotta start somewhere. You gotta have a backup plan or something. You know, I mean, if you can't grow it, what are you going to eat? 
cardboard boxes? I mean, put away some canned goods, canned meats, canned veggies, canned potatoes. Put away some baked beans, corned beef hash, spam, whatever. I don't care. But you have to start doing something and doing it now. The writing is on the wall. Things are going south really quick. And we don't know when or how we're going to land in this economy that we're in right now. There's a lot of big stuff that's on the table. And we got to be prepared. Because all these people in Washington, all they're worried about doing is fighting back and forth. This is probably going to be one of the worst election years in dividing our country that we've ever seen in the history of this country. And I would suggest for people to start preparing now because we don't know how this is going to play out. And we don't know how nasty this is going to get. So it would be to your benefit to heed my warning and start putting away a little bit at a time and then you'll build this and then you'll be all prepared for you and your family that's the key point here you got to be prepared you got to do something you got to have a plan think about it so the ball's on everybody's court out here i mean what else can we do if we can take just a little bit of our money each week and start preparing we can avoid some of the chaos and some of the hurt that's going to be implemented upon the American people in this country coming very soon. We don't know how this is going to play out. We don't know what we're going to be doing. We don't even know if we're going to have jobs. Maybe AI is going to take over. And then what are you going to do? Do you have a contingency plan for that? What about with this whole situation that we are in? The writing's on the wall, folks. You have the ability to do this. I have the utmost faith in all of you out there to make sure that you and your family are prepared and are ready so that if something goes down and when it goes down, you're going to be all right. You're going to be prepared. You're going to be ready. Do your best. That's all anybody can ask. We're not looking for miracles to start somewhere. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope you all stay safe. Keep prepping. Your life depends on it. And so does your families. I'll catch you all on the flip side.